Nevada 2.0 was a terrific conference about what the future uh, economy of our state could look like. So this was an effort to look at the regions around us, uh, places like Phoenix and Dallas even, and say, what are they doing right? What can we learn from them? So that was the basis of it, and it was organized that way, which is we brought in lessons from those regions and had the folks who had those successes describe how they went about doing the programs they led and uh, what were the impacts. Well, I got to say, this conference was tremendous, and I'm going to give Rob uh, and, and Phil Satry kudos. I thought they managed uh, the conference, uh, the flow, they organized some wonderful, wonderful speakers. Uh, I think that uh, in a lot of ways, I hope this conference goes viral. I think for a long time we just assumed businesses would come here because of our low tax rate and low tax structure, but we've just recently learned that uh, we've had two major businesses who didn't want to move here because they didn't think we had the kind of population they needed. Uh, it was uh, noted that we lost an IKEA because uh, we don't have the educated population for an IKEA. Now, I'm not the biggest IKEA fan. I don't hold stock in the IKEA company. If there is such thing as stock in the IKEA company, it's that it's a metaphor for our problems. It's what ails us. It's that if IKEA sees us that way and they're looking for an upscale market, they're looking for an educated market, then others who are looking to locate businesses in this region are looking at what IKEA is looking at. One of the things UNLV needs to be doing right now is generating degrees for this region. We can't do it if our budgets are cut. It's pretty clear that we're already seriously compromised. So I hope that one of the messages we get from this conference is invest in higher education to achieve the ultimate workforce and distribution of degrees and degreed people that you need for our region. The mantra for economic development in our region has been really simple. We don't have taxes and we've got a lot of cheap land. Uh, and if that had been working for us, we ought to be the most diversified economy in the world. Uh, the facts are, we're not. Uh, our past lack of success tells you everything you need to know. We must be missing th something if we're not attracting great companies. This region has to be careful right now though because we're at a moment where it appears that we're becoming the equivalent of a Houston is to energy we look like we are to gaming. I mean the biggest fear in this region is that you're a larger version of Atlantic City. If you ever get there and we've got two million people to support off of this regional economy and we're still growing, uh, then that's a real moment of distress. We've talked about building prosperous economies for a really long time. There have actually been plans going back 40 years, 20 years, and you can read them, you can dust them off. They read the same today as they did then. We have no plan. It's critical that during this legislative session with this governor and this year, we form a plan for economic diversification, an action plan that has the mandatory investments and builds our future. Because every year we delay is a year where we become yet more vulnerable to the same kind of recession event that we had this time. So we need to stop talking and we need to act.